going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be having a look at the mobius from zofun now online whether it be banggood or aliexpress they are listing this under the brand name aob j901 but what it actually is is the zofun mobius so let's look at the box here guys got some specs here 2.4 gigahertz 1 16th precise scale four-wheel drive ready to run shock absorbers and rubber tires really not much more to look at on the box here pretty much going over the same stuff there so what we're going to do is we're going to get everything that's in the box here on the bench and we'll have a quick look at we're it start with this poor excuse of a manual that came with it so very small print small graphics hard to read everything is in here that you need to know to get it up and running but seriously pretty pathetic we got english on this side we got the Chinese on that side right there. Throw that over there. The battery, we got a lithium ion two cell battery here, 7.4 volt, 1200 milliamp hour. Now it does have this three wire connector on it. Now I'm seeing this uh, a little bit more these days. I've got a few RCs here that run this same connector. So without an actual proper balance plug on there, you do need to use the included USB charger. So you plug this end into a standard USB outlet and this end would plug into your battery. Uh, to get you up and charging so what actually was pretty cool actually before we get to that it does come with a little mini uh phillips screwdriver there and this is what's pretty cool is the decal kit that comes with it check this out actually these are your window decals right there but this is the cool thing and probably one of the most impressive decal kits i've seen come across this bench at least with uh with a toy grade rc so check that out those look pretty cool now i'm not sure if i'm going to put any of these on here Kind of got plans for this one. Maybe we'll fill you in on that in a minute, but uh, does have some cool looking decals there. And as always, I'm always looking for errors in the spelling and I found one. F, F, and B, Furious Fast and Dad. <laughs> I'm assuming it's supposed to say Furious Fast and Bad, but hey, Furious Fast and Dad, that's kind of funny, but uh, <laughs> cool decal kit. I'm impressed with it. We'll put that aside for right now. This is just your uh, back end of the RC. We'll look at that in a sec. Now, here's your uh, transmitter. At toy grade transmitter, guys, we got proportional throttle, but we have non proportional steering on this one. And that's something I may look at upgrading here after our initial uh, run with it. But uh, yeah, not a big fan of the transmitter, is what it is. We got our on off switch right here. The LED indicator is right there. That is not working on this one for some reason. We do have three AA batteries to power this one up. Other than that, that's all there is, guys. You've got your throttle right there and your steering right there. Nothing else to look at on that. So let's pull in the J901 here. This is why I bought this one. Now it comes in a few different color combinations, but this one specifically is what I wanted. Now it looks a little messed up without the window decals on there i'm gonna throw those on in a sec actually you know what how about we do that right now guys i want to show you with the window decals on because i think it's going to make it look that much better so i'm going to get those on and we'll uh we'll continue looking at the j901 right, guys looking much better now that the window decals are applied let's take a closer look at it here looking good there now like i mentioned there are a few different uh color combinations on this one i chose this one and I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing here, but does this not look like kind of a Optimus Prime, like a newer Optimus Prime kind of uh, look to it with the flames and the blue and check that out. Pretty damn close, huh? So that's kind of what I saw when I was looking at this one. It kind of reminded me of, uh, of Optimus Prime. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments if that's what it looks like to you but to me that's what it looks like i love all the chrome detail to it the mirrors here that mirrors backwards so we'll flip that back around and there we go looks pretty cool now this is got another part to go on it we'll get it on here eventually here this little uh tow truck uh i don't know what you call it adapter i don't know a little tow truck part here so we're going to be adding that to it but uh let's get these body clips out now they've got these nice uh body clips with the pull tabs on it i like that and those were typically only seen with uh, hbx rcs but uh we've got it on this one pull the body off now does have friction shocks rubber wheels as a state looks like it's all plastic uh, dog bones on it there right in here um that is a 380 brushed motor on this one 
And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is we're going to pull this cover off, have a closer look, and we'll also maybe we'll pull a wheel off and see what's in there. So right, I've got it partially torn apart here to have a little bit better look at the internals. We'll start with the wheel I removed. Those are seven millimeter hexes on there. There are no bearings, but they do have brass bushings. There's our 380 brush motor. It does have a brass pinion. Looks like all the other gears on this are going to be plastic, but we can confirm that. Let's just lift the motor out. And we got a metal drive shaft there. And then looking in at the diffs, I'll try to give you guys a look here. There, we can probably see that, that they're plastic gears in the diffs. So I'm going to just uh, drop that shaft back in here quickly. And also, uh, we'll slip that motor back on. There we go. And there is minimal grease on all of this. So I think what I'm going to do is before I put it all back together is I'm going to um, I'm going to give it a, a service. We'll, we'll grease it up, make sure everything's greased up nice. All right, that's back together there. Now, here's our ESC receiver combo. And we'll turn around the other side. And this is where our steering gears are. So we'll pull that off. And we know it's non-proportional steering. It looks like we've got a little... 120 or 130 brush motor there that uh, controls the steering plastic gears again now looking at this guys my intentions were to convert this to fully proportional i like doing that you guys have seen that many times on the channel where we've taken a toy grade and uh, i've kind of upgraded a bit made it fully proportional so that's what i'll i plan on doing with this one as well and looking at it it doesn't look uh, like it's going to be too difficult to remove all this and add a servo in there. I think I can modify it a bit and get a servo in there quite easily, which at a later date, we'll show you guys what I've, what I've done with this, obviously. So cover that back up. Other than that, guys, there's really not much more to look at here. I think, uh, like I said, we've got plastic uh, dog bones. The linkages are all plastic. We got friction shocks, not the greatest, but they'll do. We can change those out easily if I choose to. Not sure how much I'm gonna do to this. I think uh, when I do upgrade it, I'll probably leave that 380 brushed motor in there and potentially I'll throw a brushless motor in there, but I'm just uh, not sure how, uh, how well these gears are gonna handle uh, any additional power, but we'll see. I may get, uh, I may do that. We'll see, I'll let you guys know if I do. Other than that, guys, I'm going to grease it up now, get it all back together. We'll come back to it. We'll look at it on the bench. I'll fire it up, and uh, we'll wrap this one up. Right, it's all greased up, back together. We've even got the toe assembly uh, mounted to the back there. I'm going to have to add a winch or a little bit of rope with the hook or something to uh, give this a proper look. But uh, overall, I'm actually quite satisfied with the, with the look of this one. So let's throw this battery in. We've got a retainer screw on the bottom here and two little clips and you actually get a quite large battery uh, compartment there so we'll plug this in close it up fire it up and wrap this one up all right Just do that screw up there on off switch is on the bottom right there Turn on the transmitter. There's our non-proportional crappy steering on this one. And let's see, let's see uh, if it's got any pep. Four wheel drive. So no brakes on this one the way it is. Just forward, direct back. It uh, took a minute, I think, for that grease to work itself around. That's why it was a little slow to start up there. But, uh, yeah, guys, overall, I think this one's going to be good. We're naming this one the Optimus Primetime Build as soon as we get onto the modifications and the upgrades on this one. It's, it's hard to uh, argue that this does not look somewhat like this. So it'd be pretty cool. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to find a way or find some wheels for this one, 3D print them up, and we're going to turn this one into... Uh, into a drift tow truck. We'll do a little drifting with this one. I think since it's already four wheel drive, upgrade the electronics, add a gyro to it. And I think we'll have a pretty cool looking little uh, 1 16th scale uh, drift truck here, guys. So anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap this one up for right now. I'll be out soon to do the test run with all the stock electronics and everything 
here soon so keep an eye out for that but for right now that's it for this one like this video make sure you get a big thumbs up new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out and remember don't be a stranger we'll see you on the next one see ya